hello and welcome back to Pillars. So the new blood of the Principi wanna talk to me in Fort Deadlight. And after that we're probably gonna uh, sail north and uh, do a little bit of uh, looting and pillaging. We have uh, missions that uh, we have to do in Nekataka and actually we need to find a bunch of islands that uh, we need to find first. We just don't know. We have just only loose directions or not even that. Just like, hey. Uh, go and find it, I guess. So that's what we're gonna do. Go north, northwest, more specifically. We have a lot of missions uh, over there. So obviously, the Principi New Blood uh, took over this fort that I actually took over first. You're the captain who Aldi's invited to parley, ain't you? Yes. I'm to keep an eye out. I, I see that. He taps a finger beneath his one eye that isn't covered by a black patch. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Uh, lead on. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. Aye, it sure is. Aye. I don't wanna kill the guy just yet. Maybe. We'll consider killing him later. All these pirates. Seriously? They just took you over the base? Captain. Glad you could make it, Lovesome. Captain Watcher. The battle hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards you pleasantly. Her miscolored eyes, one raven wing black, the other an icy blue. Rove up and down your face. Raven wing black and other icy blue? Okay. Wait, what? Why is she so green? Like what you see? Uh. Oh. No, didn't really think of it that way. What are you saying? A golden silhouette uh, gleams against the scarred skin of her chest. When you notice it, she flips it to reveal the mark of her status on the other side. The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. Okay. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate. Which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed. But a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand? Yeah, uh, you made it uh, pretty clear that you're crazy. Like, why do you even ask me here? So I kill you too? If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Despite the violence furling about her words, she purses her lips, eager for your answer. I'm the fourth chair now. Ooh, that's rubbing it in. I brought you some candied nuts. I actually didn't. Didn't even stop on the way. You can't fault me for defending myself. Ooh. He had it coming. Ooh, that's right. He had it coming, Missy. That he often did. Doesn't mean I enjoyed writing his eulogy. She shrugs one shoulder, sighs. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? I hear silver makes for a shiny hook. As I took Bamvet's seat, well, we need to intimidate harder than that. As I took Bamvet's seat on the council, I throw my weight behind yours. I don't, I don't. Oh, I do like you. Good answer, Captain. I admire a woman who doesn't back down. You've got guts, and not just smattered in your hair. Now with that out of the way, I'd like to make you a deal. Well, I was planning to offer you a deal, Lovesome. A partnership between two right unstoppable captains. By which I'm referring to me and you. Right. But it would seem you've gone and killed Mad Morena now. One of the captains most loyal to me and a seat holder on the council. Well, that's a bummer. That just keeps happening. I do regret your choices. <sighs> namely because they make life difficult for me. She fingers the silhouette at her throat and sighs. 
You still want to be friends? Perhaps we can still work something out in the future. I? Are you die now? I know you've met with Ferrante. That you may even be working for him. That pribbling cock rot. I would never! With a flick of her fingers, the captain swipes a goblet of God's killer rum off her desk. She takes a long swig before pointing at you. I hate to tell you this, Captain Aldous, but I'm not killing those guys just to fuck you over. Uh, they were just massive jerks to me. Both of them. So, also I killed a lot more. So... But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I. Can I just know, get to know you better? Like, what do you stand for? Furanta is... Uh, I don't know. I don't like him much. What about you? You want me to spy for you? How clever you are. Oh, come on. Condescending? That's not what I was looking for. She waggles her her brows cheekily over her miscolored eyes. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding, given half the chance. He gave me a fucking cloak. I hate to run a furante. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. What strategy is that? Well, what can I do, you lovesome? Show her Angoliero like my sword? That's a weird conversation options. Like my sword? That I do, Lovson. A real powerful one you got there. Where in Aora did you happen to find it? This sword belongs to the Darkozzi royal family? You mean the royal sword that Darkozzi paladin Lucia Ravan was sworn to protect? Ravan, as in the captain of the Fonferus, known as the dreadful floating hangman, Scourge of the Deadfire. Damn, she put it all together. She taps her chin in, in thought. Hold on to that, Lovesome. You've given me a thought as to how I might track the floating hangman. I'll tell you further when I know more myself. So, what sort of things do you like to do in your leisure time? What? Like, for hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> Her eyebrows dance up to her hairline as she laughs loudly. When I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bath? Don't guess you like the same? Yes, target practice relaxes me. I could go for a hot bath right now, in fact. <laughs> oh boy. How about that? I hate shooting, drinking, and being clean. <laughs> Damn. Right, let's just say I, I could go for a hot bath. She throws her head back and laughs. <laughs> well, sure. You're welcome to use mine. But perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. Hey, don't let these uh, 10 guys standing around here, including my companions, stop stop us from having a good time, right? I brought you some candied nuts. You do know how I like them. And how much they make me like you, Dove. Right? Her lips curl into a mischievous smile. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna kill you. As she munches on a handful of nuts, the captain regards you with a deeper interest. Okay. What do you want to meet about? I've got a problem, Watcher. And I think you're just the captain to solve it. Me and Ferrante don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Not least of which is the future of the Principi. We got few rules amongst us new bloods. But one of them is that you live free. We steal and we might murder, but if you pledge to us, you're our blood. Our family. Now, if I were to act in direct opposition to Ferrante... He'd use it to call a vote of the Council of Captains. He'd see me swinging by the neck. But no one's got a leash on you. Which means if you were to, perchance, free the slaves at Crooksburg, mm. Ferrante couldn't do piss all about it. Nope. No one deserves to be enslaved by another. Understand? 
I like it. I'm asking you to sail to Crooksburg to meet with one of mine. She's hiding within their midst, and we'll have insider information on the slavers. I like it. How do I find your pirate at Cox, uh, Cruxburg? She'll find you, Lovesome. You'll know her by her scar. It's a ghastly sight. I'll go to Cruxburg. Find me when you freed those slaves. I'll make it worth your while. I'm I'm about to do that anyway. Captain. Tell me about the new blood in the Principi. We're the future. And we ain't going nowhere. We're pirates, Lovesome. We own this sea, and the sea loves us back in her twisted way. Ferrante pines for a homeland he's never seen. But what does old Valia mean to me or my crew? We're not Valian, and we never will be. Good point. Though if you're Valian and you want to join our bloodline, you're more than welcome. <laughs> but you, weren't you founded by refugees from old Valia? Does that matter? I see. I believe you. You seem like a sharp captain, you do. Alright, fair of all. Oh, I forgot to loot uh, some of these guys that I murdered last time. When I killed your uh, best friend, Check. Ben Vats. Hope you don't mind me taking uh, these uh, these tokens of... Uh, just to remind me of it. The event. How do we get out super fast out of this place? We can go toward the court. Alright, I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> well, I don't like her much, but she's more like the person I can get behind, I suppose. So, more pirates here. You must gather your yeah, we need to uh, go and uh, just just travel north, I suppose. I suppose at this point I, I just may have to be honest with myself and say that maybe I'm a bit of a pirate too. I'm not exactly a pirate hunter exclusively. More like a everything hunter. Salty Sam? What? Care to have a look? Yeah. Right away. That is not that good. Sure. Uh, not that impressive. First mate Mabori. Are you ready to meet our commander? I can't well, find my own way. You know. Yeah. Wow. The place is full again. All right. Let's just go. They just go away. We've seen enough. Seems like they are not sunning too much. Actually, I'm just I'm just completely broke. One thing that I might need to check out is what if we just pop into Nekataka and say that, hey, uh, ship ride guy, do you have a better ship for us? Like, okay, wait. We have one guy here of the slavers. Okay, let's kill the slaver. We are repairing the ship, and we need to do that. We truly do. Unaffiliated Deathfire Merchant. Hey, unaffiliated Deathfire Merchant, you wanna have a, a little bit of trade? Attack. I mean, by trade, I mean you give me what you got, and I... And I... And th that's all I got. <laughs> that's about it. I kind of need their ships. Like, there should be like some kind of a bonus that, that, that you take them over. But it seems like you get so much for sinking them. And it's so much safer that it's not the best. Maybe I'm missing something. I suppose it, uh, the game want to, uh, wants to put a price on uh, fighting these guys. But it could be so easy to fight them in the text adventure. Now you be 
Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Screwed. <laughs> Still got it. They're terrified. And they're dead. Truly dead. Very much so dead. Maybe, maybe through a freezing pillar. Uh oh, take care who's gonna get hit. Maybe not. You guys just move around way too much. Why do you wanna cast another one? I already casted one. Let's go. Can I have some kind of a... Uh... Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, they're all dead. And they have nothing. We gained some morale. We gained the rank. We got some water. This is pretty much not worth it. They're probably just uh, losing uh, reputation, or maybe gaining reputation with certain factions by sinking ships. Abandoned village, triple skull. What the hell was that? So there was a slaver around here. Might as well go up and uh, try to explore this place. I would like to buy some maps. Can we buy some maps? We might be able to... I think there's a map guy in Nakataka. I think we might be able to buy some maps. Right? Oh, I didn't want to go to board! Oh! Ah, oh, come on, game! I regret my... Ugh, my misclick. What could I really do here? Look at these guys. See that we have nothing. We're sailing a, a crappy ship. We never take over the ships. It would be so easy. Even if our ship uh, gets trashed, we can just uh, we can just uh, bail our own ship, let the guys have it who who we overtook, and uh, take their ship. Easy peasy. Morab working with injury. I'm kind of too lazy to remove you guys. So. Boots suck bug. What is this place? You trapes through a dark, cold bog. The water around you grows deeper and the further you walk. The silt and muck slide beneath your boots. The path forward looks more treacherous than the path behind you, but you are already come this far. Continue through the bug. Wait, why are you alone? What? What do you mean, choose a party member? Where's the party tab? What the... Oh yeah, it resets the party when you accidentally open up the thingy. Damn. Great. What was their order? Something like that. I'm not so sure. It's gonna be relevant for the formation. Or can we... I don't know if you can. Uh, rearrange them. 
Continue through the bog. Uh, you do it. Failure? Wow. You trudge on through the bog, attention diverted, my accidentally steps onto a patch of unstable ground and sinks deep into the water. She has 9 survival and like 17 perception. Haul my out of the water, leave Maya to her foot. That's crazy. Get her out. 13. Acrobatic. And uh, yeah, 18 acrobatic. Ada reaches into the water and pulls Maya back to the surface. What the hell? With help, Maya manages to break uh, the surface and roll onto dry land, coughing up bog water. Thanks to your quick rescue, your compatriot is none the worse uh, for wear. If a bit sodden. Wow, it would be a odd way to lose someone like this. Press on. The bog is still and silent. It smells of rank decay. Its stagnant waters host to many decades accumulation of dead plants and animals. A thick mist rolls across the water. Several hooded kits emerge silently from the fog. A herd of bog lurkers just behind them. A large Omana man at the head of the group draws his sword and points it at you. If you value your life, you will leave and never return. He peers hard into your face, almost daring you to challenge him. Why should I listen to you? I am the guardian of this place, and I will not allow you to profane it with your presence. I'm just passing through. Do you come here often? The Oman man says nothing more than does not lower his sword. Let's kill him. I don't know. Go where I please, man. Probably. Come on. I don't buy it. Were you willing to kill me just so I don't get killed? Or he's the guardian of this jungle? You're not welcome here. Uh oh. Do we know how high level they are? Okay, let's see the formation. Can we... Okay, we can... Rearrange them. Formation looks so good. I don't want to spend a lot of time running around, but we need to... Set up a decent formation. Yeah, probably not on him, but the greatest amount of enemies. Like I always say, right? Let's let the... Oh boy, what? We are about to die? How about heal? I know that sounds crazy, but like, come on. Try heal, it works. Can we terrify them? Did, did it work? Did, did we do it? Yeah. How about uh, F4 on these guys? Let's do the tentacles. Okay, how about a freezing pillar at this point? Oh, they're really getting close to us. Toti's about to die. Save yourself. Wait, where the hell are you? What? I don't see you. Oh. Just heal yourself. Damn, we're getting overrun. What kind of defenses do, do these guys have? High fortitude, higher... Well, they basically high everything. Their deflection is the lowest. 
but they immune to pierce damage. So don't shoot at those guys with the gun. Boar companion. Very high defenses. I could do some raw damage at... Uh, is this deflection? Uh, it's fortitude check. That's not gonna work against these guys. Veal? That might work. The veal is not too high. Another veal check. Let's do another veal check. Oh boy, watch who's about to die. Can we just terrify them? Did it work? Uh, yeah, how about... Just do a quick heal on everybody. Give me a hand then maybe do a consecration. Damn. You got hit hard. Bog lurkers. Soti is in trouble. Watchful presence. Do we have watchful presence on us? We do. At least a lot of us do. Damn, we're taking a lot of damage. These bug lurkers need to die. What kind of damage we are dealing? I think that's crush. Pierce. We can hit the bug warden. We can do another consecrated ground if one is not enough. I think one is not enough. <sighs> Problem is against those guys, uh, like some we will need, we need something that checks for deflection. Checks for deflection, reflects. They have lowish deflection, but really high uh, natural defenses. Other than that, even this is like uh, checks for veil accuracy versus veil. Can we just take out this bug lurker, at least one of them? Okay, one bug lurker dead. Can we just do a Devotions of the Faithful? That would help a lot. Also, we could potentially blind these guys on the side. Or blind the guys in the back. That seems actually better. Ixoti dies. I hope they are blinded. That's gonna deal a lot of damage to them. Can I just terrify them? It's one of the best skills we got. That's a build check, right? Yeah, it's a build check. Uh, what are you doing, Elot? And Soti. So Elot is not gonna go away now. The board companion just stays up because he gets healed. After he gets charmed. I need to use the second vent here. How about this? Oh, the tentacles? That could help a lot. Try something else. Good call. Can we do a freezing pillar for the guys in the back? See that, Ishii? And, and, uh, I mean, there. 
Uh, screw those guys. Oh no! You managed to lure him away. Might's no good. Okay, let's just nuke that guy. Solo nuke. Oh boy, we're taking so much damage. Maybe we're gonna do a uh, scroll heal. Yeah, that's nice. Come on, guy! Die, guys! This is bullshit! Can I terrify them? It doesn't work. Immunity infl intellect affliction, so we completely wasted our time there. I think I need to do a, a heal again. What are you doing? Sweet what? He's getting so murdered. I need to do heal again. Can we? Does it work on Soti? No, it doesn't. Oh, he's dead. Well, s screw that. Just take out the, the lurker. Except you. Disengage, damage. Why are these lurkers so tough? Unbelievable. I don't believe it. Yeah, let's do a heal. Oh yeah, that's piercing damage, right? It's a legendary pierce damage now. Damn. <laughs> Okay, Ella, what about you? Oh, he does piercing damage as well. Bloody hell. That's the problem here. Even Seraphin? Oh, he, well, it doesn't matter anymore. I think he used the staff. But we don't have the appropriate damage type. I'm heavy on pierce. Yeah, just kill the boar companion. Bog Lurker. Rest in peace. It's immune to that. Or can you try to disengage? Oh, can we tell the board to disengage? We can. Bog Wanderer. You were saying? Let's go. Do you have a backup weapon? Yeah. Crushing staff. Immune to pierce. Yeah. But definitely pay attention to immunities. It's the lesson here. Come on, boy. Time to meet your maker. I probably hate these guys. The question is, uh, do all you were saying? Uh, range weapons have a uh, pierce damage. So, for example, Rod. Rod is slashing Pierce. So, we can use this as a backup. It's also superb. If, if we want to use a ranged weapon. 29, 39. Uh, 24, 39. It's worse, but it's ranged. So, that's pretty good. This is superb as well. So if you need another source of damage, Warbow is also Pierce Slash. Superb. However, it seems like it's just straight up worse than a Rod. Although it has better... Uh, better penetration. And range. So if Slash is okay, uh, we can do Slash. Super one, but that's one-handed weapon. Superb, sorry, staff. Exceptional hunting bow. Yeah, exceptional. That's pretty good. Again, it has two damage types. 
But yeah, also, like, having only Pierce here is just kind of bad. And she is good with, uh, the shield style, I suppose. I just equip a weapon that's good. Like, superb Sorif staff. What about you? He, he also has the... Super hammer. We need something that has a different damage type. 200 rod. Wait, is that better than what we uh, equipped? No, superb. Superb. Why is it worse? I don't know. Like it just deals less damage, doesn't it? Sure. Puke stabber. Acolytes frostbite. Slash damage. Okay, we're just gonna equip other sources of damage on the characters because uh getting the uh scenario where you're actually like, oh, your type of damage is just no good. That sucks a lot. Actually, and uh, Watcher doesn't have a ranged weapon. We can use the Super Vorbo, I suppose. We can use the uh, the Rod too, but... Uh, that's fine for now. Actually, I might want to craft... And I almost never do this. Yeah. I might want to craft... Some... Healing Scrolls. Major Healing. That's not Scroll, that's... That's potion. We can go scrolls healing and support. Scrolls of minor healing. We can craft seven of them. Close. And we can uh, list by time. What? Didn't I acquire it right now? Game. It's scrolls, right? Scroll of minor healing. Oh yeah, she has it in her inventory. Perfect. And she has uh she's really good with scrolls, so that helps. Anyway. Let's keep going. So these guys didn't want to let us in. Superb Brigandine. Okay, here we go. Health restored by 3 seconds. This is mostly relevant on guys that take damage a lot. Superb Large Shield. What is uh, Eder using? Uh, let's check it out. So, by time acquired that. Let's just go with that. Ring of Regeneration. Wait a second. Why don't we have all the stuff? Does someone has them in the inventory again? No way. So we got... Okay, let's just list by value. Superb Padded Armor. Superb Scale Armor. I guess Superb Brigandine is... Not as big big of a deal right now. What is it? Super breastplate. Another breastplate. Breastplate seems uh acceptable. Scan resentment, what is that? Aura reduces the healing of nearby enemies by half. It's kind of garbage. Well, we don't have a legendary, and legendary is... Well, this is legendary. Okay, sure. Uh, Miscreant letters. Uh, let's list by time. Health restored. Oh yeah, we definitely have some extra ring slots that I'm not using. All defenses when engaged. Stacks five times. And plus two Diplo. 
How about give him the heal ring? Uh, and what? Okay, it's clothing. Let's see what are we missing here. Plus one dex. Ruin foundation. Ah, oh, that's some good boots. Uh, let's just use that boots by what is the best. Okay, let's give her those boots. Anyone else needs boots? Uh, she uses reflex boots. Stealth is kind of garbage, but if we have nothing, then we're gonna take it. What else we got? Fortitude boots. Uh, those are a little bit better. Grand sleep. I don't care too much about that. Uh, I guess you're gonna use those boots. What else we got? Blue stone. Two con belt. And we all have belts. Plus two con, plus some good stuff. Healing done, plus alchemy. Uh, that seems appropriate. Athletics. That's kind of garbage. That's kind of garbage as well. What do we have here? Might, crush armor rating. Reforge flesh. What kind of belts we have? Plus, plus two con. Okay, let's give him the plus two con belt. Huh. Misses converted the grace of the proficient weapons. That's pretty cool. But I'm not sure if he's using a proficient weapon. She is. I guess we we can give her that. Lone Wolf, Resolve Ring. I think we still have a lot of room for rings. Accuracy. Plus one end. Does anyone want plus one end? It doesn't really matter too much. Accuracy is good too. Come on, game. Ah, let's just give it to her. Accuracy is pretty good. Uh, we already have... Okay. Uh, use up the rings. Wait, what? She has two of the same. Alright. Oh, yeah, cloak. We don't have cloak on all the characters. All right? Do we? I guess we do. We all have the same crappy cloaks. What? I think that's better, right? Diplo and survival. Stride increases with survival skill. Plus five reflex. Uh, yeah, she actually has a high survival skill. Oh, that's the better version of that thingy. And deflection. I guess that's appropriate. Oh, whatever. Let's just let's just keep going. Uh, more super blight armors. So what we have here? We just killed some guys. They had nothing, and uh, they just had to die. I guess. We do have one penalty, so we can rest. There's no really penalty for resting, I suppose. I kind of want to go back to Nikatak and perhaps uh, buy a map. Can we buy a map? I don't know if you can buy a map. I want to buy a map. <laughs> There's definitely a guy who <clears throat> seems like a... The one who sells maps. Not sure how much are the maps though. So. <clears throat> uh, we're just uh, probably gonna head back and, uh, and go toward Nekataka. Asongo. <clears throat> anyway, guys, uh, uh, we still have more to explore here. But I think we gotta do that next time, so thanks for watching and see you next time.